Sorry. <laughs> Hi everyone! I also just realized that I messed up something else. Okay, sorry about that. Hey, hello everyone! Hello, hello, hello! Okay, um... Yeah, so I am uh, working on another Kickstarter reward. I got the, uh, I had a pose idea, so I sketched it out uh, a lot earlier, but I haven't had time to do anything with it yet because uh, commissions come first, but I am officially done with all the commissions I had on my plate, basically. I'm just waiting for a uh, final okay on the uh, last one I did. I just sent it off, so literally I sent it off a couple minutes before I started my stream, so. Anyways, we gotta actually make this look like Shan right now, so, um, yeah. Where's my reference of Shan? Shan! What kind of file is this? I mean, it's a Chrome file. Okay, you guys, give me a second. Why are you a web page? You are a freaking JPEG. Let me open my JPEG. Wow. Okay, let's see now. There you go. Hi, Shan. Okay. So the reason that I picked this uh, kind of awkward pose was because I wanted to show at the bottom of the shoe. <laughs> For those of you guys who are not familiar with him, he has little uh, paw prints, like paws on the bottom of his shoes. Yeah, it's very cute. Um, I think I'll probably angle his face down more. I just suggest my reference, so. Oh, that one's kind of... Oh, let's see. Let's see how it looks first and then decide from there. Mafia boss. He's 
supposed to be a jackal, I believe. You're starving, what are you gonna eat? French fries? mushrooms and measures. I had a gazillion packages and stuff to do today and all that so uh, we, we had Wendy's for lunch like bad people so I figure we'll do salad for dinner. So how was the workout? Did you, you haven't fought that boss yet or did you already beat him? My brush is still set at a weird setting. You know what though? That's good. It's good to mix it up anyways. I was gonna do some ring fit today, but when I realized uh, all the packages we had going out, including a 17 pound figure, I was like, yeah, no. Uh, I I'm still uh, working on building more arm strength up, but that, that was hard to get down the stairs. Yeah, yeah, packing the figures is pretty rough in general, but we had some pre-orders to go out, and uh, I don't know if uh, Wonga had talked about it, uh, but there was a one, uh, one half scale, like one two scale uh, Shinobu from Monogatari that he had up at the store for a while. And of course we're like, nobody's gonna order it. It's like $3,000. Well, we were wrong. Somebody ordered it. And then like, even when we are like, well, you have to like, you know, prepay. They're like, okay. Like what? <laughs> so yeah, that, that was the, that figure. It finally came in. So it was uh, interesting. I'm very surprised I got down the stairs uh, without too much uh, issue because it was very heavy for me. I'm still uh, working on my arm strength, but yeah, no, it was great. Um, we, we just pretty much, uh, once we got it in, we, uh, you know, checked it out, made sure that it was all like, you know, okay, and nothing was wrong with it. And then uh, we, we even sent it off in the uh, same box that it got shipped to us in. <laughs> Cause yeah, like, no, we're, we're not gonna risk it breaking. It actually was packed really well though. Um, the company that made it is Fudu, which uh, they they do a lot of prize figures, but they also do some really nice scales. And yeah, they like packed it in like a styrofoam box and everything. So it was, it was pretty nice. We actually, cause we opened it up to check it to see cause we weren't gonna send him a broken figure. Uh, we didn't actually take it that much out of the packaging or anything, but we wanted to make sure that, you know, it was going to handle that there was no damage that we saw and nothing was, like, loose or anything. So. That, that yeah, we, we usually, when we get stuff, we don't ever send it directly to the customer from, like, the warehouse or anything, even if it's something like that, because we, we need to make sure that it's not going to be, if it's not damaged or anything. Because, yeah, that's not fair to them. What? Oh, my flow is still really low. And like, even if you're taking it out, like, uh, my mom was like, wait, I know that name. So it's apparently a customer that we have, uh, uh one of our usual customers. I, I didn't catch that, but my mom did, so. <laughs> Looks so creepy right now. I see uh, uh, Kitten is teaching us how to favorite people. I'll have to do that after uh, the stream.
I never realized he wore a vest. Oh man. My aesthetic. No, no, I mean, I, I understand that completely because that's, that's kind of how I am. I just, it, it gets tiring when, you know, people expect stuff from you, but they don't return it. The, the same kind of like energy. I mean, I'm not necessarily talking like, you know, but it, it's that whole uh, concept of e equivalent exchange, like even in Full Metal Alchemist brings up. It's not always necessarily like a physical item or something, but if somebody's putting in like energy to you, the least you can do is give it back to them. So those who aren't, it's just kind of like, ugh. I don't know, I also feel like I'm just getting, like, um, less patient with a lot of people. Oh yeah, I'm not talking about, like, likes or anything like that. I mean, I'm just talking about, like, generally, like, hey, do they actually, like, send me messages, or do we hang out, or, you know, things like that. Like, not talking in terms of, like, likes at all. <laughs> I, I'm trying to get uh, encourage more of my friends to use the line because I use that one way more as you've noticed traitor <laughs> I don't know I don't get like sound notifications for messenger which it was a, a really weird uh thing but i don't so like that's why i'm always like yeah please guys don't like if, if you send me messages on there i probably won't get back to you right away and not because i'm trying to ignore you but because i literally am not seeing it for work because you procrastinate. Oh my god, this looks so weird right now. Uh, uh, maybe make the color color here. Hi, RDD! I don't know, I'm becoming less of a people person. Not that I was ever much of one, but the more this uh, pandemic and stuff goes on, the less I want to see people at all. I just want to go hide in my little like hole. Does he have like a back under it? Ah, uh, yeah. Does it? No. Okay, he doesn't. I thought there was a turtle neck under there for a second. Yeah, I, I'm on a. I'm probably on Discord way more than I should be too. <laughs> have you noticed uh, with all the comments I do in a, in the Discord? For, uh, that kitten and I share. I get bored. I want people to talk to. So then I end up on Discord. <gasps> wow. Yeah, you're uh, legally they're allowed to check. Uh, I, I know it was the Supreme Court or whatever rules that they're allowed to check your vaccine card. So that's pretty cool. I mean, like I said, I, I carry mine around in my wallet because I'm weird. Oh man, he's got such a nice vest on. He's symmetrical. It's sad that it's rare, but... Yeah, I don't know. I haven't gone anywhere. <laughs> I barely leave my house. No, I go to UPS and a uh, post office almost every day, but that's about it. I do have to, on Mondays, I have to go to um, teach, but 
they actually, uh, while the building itself doesn't have a mask requirement or anything like that, um, so as long as you're vaccinated, you can, you know, get in the building without it. I, I mean, I don't like uh, usually voice chat on Discord, but I am on Discord a lot typing. Uh, I actually, let me see, can I, is that a command I can pull up? I'm so bad at this. Uh, I have a Discord channel I share with Cosplay and Kitten. Hey, it worked! Look at me. Look how savvy I've become. Mwahaha. <laughs> So we're, I'm very active <laughs> over there. I'm on Discord a lot. Discord I do actually see notifications for, unlike Facebook. It's weird. But I don't know what it is, but apparently uh, Facebook does not have, like, uh, sound notifications. I don't know if it's just my phone or the app that I'm using, because I'm using Facebook Lite versus real Facebook. And of course, line I always get. I like line a lot though. Discord is fun though too, because once again, I can send dumb stickers. I am literally here just to, I don't necessarily mind voice chat. It depends on when more than anything, because obviously uh, with Wong working and stuff, sometimes it's just hard. I can blame Wong, right? No. <laughs> But yeah, I don't mind voice. Like, it depends on how I have to talk. Like, yeah, when I get a new place, like in September, it'll be a lot easier for me because I can go like hide in a different room. No, one of the biggest reasons, like with the phone is, the phone is harder for me because I have to like constantly be holding it. So I can't really like, I, I, I uh, have a little like ADHD where I can't focus on one thing for too long unless I'm doing something else. So like just talking on the phone is kind of bad for me. But, uh, yeah, like, talking on Discord isn't so bad. Because when I was playing Monhan with uh, Bat all the time, we always did Discord, even if we weren't, like, streaming and stuff. We just chatted on Discord while we played Monhan. Gosh, my lanes are so messy on this. We do actually, oh, the voice chatting room. I mean, we, we have channels for that. Uh, mine does not switch to phone, <laughs> but I am usually on my PC anyway, so it's not a problem. I, I live in front of my laptop. Yeah, I like my headset. Um, it, it's pretty easy because, you know, it's just on my head. And uh, it's comfortable enough to wear for a long time too, which helps. And because it's like right against my ear, it doesn't actually affect the fact that I can only sometimes hear out of the one ear. Have fun, enjoy your food. Bring me some. Now yeah, we'll have dinner when we're done with this. I do have my phone with me quite frequently, so, uh, but yeah, I, I don't do a lot of, like, talking on the phone. I do that more through, uh, yeah, actual, like, uh, computer, but, but I'm on it a lot for, uh, well, just everything. I can't believe there was a time when, you know, I didn't even have a cell phone and now I'm like so glued to it. I think that's how most of us are. Fluffy, fluffy, fluffy. Ooh. I didn't like that fluffy. I do try to give myself like breaks from my phone though too because otherwise it's just kind of uh, overwhelming. But with applying for jobs and stuff, I've been like constantly having to be like there to answer phones and stuff. I don't think I'm gonna make him this thick, but I'm still gonna use this as a base for a pose. I know. He's not that, that thick. He's like that slim 
Lim yeah. I think that's okay. I do actually ignore my phone entirely when I'm working out, but I, I just do ring fit. Uh, I, I'm a mess medically, so that, that's all I can handle. I guess that goes all the way down. Yeah, oh my gosh, his coat is long. So that is uh, the other side of the zipper. And we'll worry about actually making it look nice when I do the official line art. Okay. I never realized. It depends though, because uh, like getting a six pack really depends on um, your genetics and stuff too. I always joke that I get like a, a three pack and that's about where I stop, but. Uh, after I got um, diagnosed with autoimmune and then fibromyalgia, I uh, have been having too much pain to like, I was having too much pain to like work out regularly and then um, I got a uh, medication and physical therapy and stuff so I've been trying to like get uh, back into shape and stuff plus uh, I uh, pandemic weight. But yeah, I'm pretty sure I would never have a six pack, so I don't think I'd want one anyways, personally. No, Wong, do not get another six pack. You look like you were gonna die. Yeah, Wong is a perfect example of that. He is uh, already very, very thin, despite what he says. And uh, he was literally having to like starve himself to get it. It's not good to starve yourself, sir. Just don't starve yourself. But yeah, so it, it comes down to all that kind of stuff, too. So people don't kill yourself. But yeah, if like, like that's your goal and you can do it safely, great, do it. I didn't figure out what I wanted to do with the bottom of this. He's gonna be standing on something. I just have no idea what. Um, that goes down to about here, I guess. Yeah, not everyone did, but um, I did. I lost my job during the pandemic. Oh, thank you for the bit. Yeah, I, I lost my job during the pandemic and had all this other stress and um, just wasn't fun. So I, I spent a lot of time, uh, as they call it in Japanese, uh, uh, basically I felt like I had to be eating and stuff because my mouth would get lonely kind of thing. I mean, uh, luckily uh, Wong has been working from home. So I've had somebody, I'm like, I have not been alone. Plus I have been constantly uh, having to go like ship off boxes and stuff, but it's still just one of those like, yeah. Stress, stress gets to you. I do not handle stress well. <laughs> I have to decide how, I don't know what he should be standing on. Guys, I swear I thought this through. That's sarcasm, I did. I like food. I like food a lot. But at least I've been better about eating healthier food. Like we've been doing a salad at least once a day. I still really love french fries, which is a problem, but I, I don't eat them that often. I love them, but I know better. Uh, the 
pocket would be about right here. think because I don't get enough sleep. Ah, thank you for following! But yeah, I think because I don't get enough feet. Ugh, feet. <laughs> I have plenty of feet. I don't get enough sleep. Uh, my body is always, like, trying to find ways to, like, energize itself. So it looks to food. We're working on... Um, I, I've been working on my insomnia problems for uh, a while now. Uh, haven't actually gotten to a good goal yet, or a good uh, solution yet, but working on it. That is another thing. Yeah, like, I don't know how people do it. I, it, it's hard for me to like, you know, just like turn off my mind and go to bed. So I, I actually go to bed at a pretty normal time sometimes, but I don't, I, I just don't function well without sleep. I have a one friend I talk to all the time and she's like constantly napping and I'm just like how how do you nap so much and then like Wong uh, falls asleep like in a minute or two I'm up for like uh, two hours before I can finally fall asleep no matter what time I go to bed Like, they talk about how, like, you just need to, like, shut off your mind to go to bed. And, like, I, I just don't understand it. I can't shut off my mind. It's always doing something. Okay, it's starting to look like him. Does he just have, like, normal sleeves? Everything else. Ah, oh, he's got, like, a buckle on there. I know, I'm so off my reference. He doesn't have like this weird glove, it doesn't cover all his hand, that's interesting. I'm just gonna freehand some of the stuff like usual. It'll give me at least something uh, to work with once I uh, get it all set up to go. I actually have no idea how much I'm gonna get done on this today. And that's fine. I don't always have to have a second. My goal for today was to just get that one commission done I got done, so... I 
I prefer not to work around commissions on stream, just because sometimes it's like, I don't know, not all of them are that exciting. Okay, so that so far is okay. Oh, you can see his belt buckle a bit. Um, all right, weird noises. Here we go. for the bottom of his shoes. <gasps> I can't play kitten! Okay. I'm still here, guys. But if you don't see my hand moving, it's because I'm trying to find the uh, bottom of his shoes. I love how many people just don't bother to draw him with shoes on. <laughs> Actually have to go into one of like his 3D stream and see what it is. I know he has like all pads on the bottom. Actually, this one might work. Okay, uh, let's see. Looking up a reference, so I was on Google. <laughs> I'm back, I'm back. I mean, I was here, I just couldn't see my chat. I, I want to make him standing on something. I just haven't decided on what. So I wanted to show the bottom of his freaking shoes because they're so cute. So I'm not going to be really super concerned with how uh, I did on here. Uh, that one's actually up too high anyway. Just in case I show more than I mean, meant to, I'll draw some of this out. Okay. Yeah, 
yeah, there we go. Okay, bottom of the shoe. Thank you, random fan art I found online. It's close enough. Okay, and then I will leave the Google. I'm back. Oh yeah, Ron, I saw you weren't streaming today. I, I, I well, I was gonna say, I, oh, oh, he won Happy Meals, good. I, I, I hope you're feeling better. I know, uh, I saw, I was reading the Discord post. It was pretty, uh, it sounds like you had a rough day. Wear normal black pants? I guess so. <gasps> this? Oh, I changed my opacity on myself. Good enough. Too many, too many people. Challenge accepted. I, I'd say I have good news, and, and we we put up a uh, another uh, uh, Kingdom Hearts pre-order today, but it's just Mickey. <laughs> it's a really expensive statue of Mickey. I was like, why? I'll actually have this kind of come over here right now because he's got his leg up. I don't know where your Rikus are. Tell Squeenix to get on it. Or if you're talking like actual ones you ordered, tell Japan to make them faster. I never drew the rest of his other leg. <laughs> he doesn't need two legs, right? Right? Yeah, pre-orders, as per usual, are always, like, a mess. Welcome back! I hope f food was yummy. So many people like messaging us for like, hey, hey, when's my pre-order coming in? Like, I don't know. I'm not Japan, guys. Actually, amusingly enough, we we had somebody uh, contact us about selling figures, like their manufacturer, and I was like, dude, dude, we're not. Um, I am currently unemployed, <laughs> but I, I was a graphic designer. When I was employed, I lost my job because of the pandemic. So yeah, this, this is what I currently do is just uh, commissions and freelance work. Oh, I know you're teasing, Ronope. Yeah, I, I know you understand, but some of these other people don't. And it's like, come on, man. You know, I'm just gonna not look at things right now and do this blindly again. That just... I guess that does. Wow, he's just got a random zipper tail opening in the back. Yeah, it's uh, it's been rough. I, I got laid off uh, last March, actually, and still haven't been able to find another design job. Um, it's uh, pretty bad right now because a lot of designers got laid off at around the same time. Like, I actually uh, knew, like, 
six designers who got laid off all around the same time and then shortly after like kids and stuff got laid off so it was it was pretty rough and uh yeah i mean we we do what we can uh, Kitten had to take a job that wasn't ideal, but was at least a job to afford rent. Um, I'm at least fortunate that I get to, uh, I, I don't live alone. So I am freeloading off of Wong in the meantime. But I, I help with his store and I, you know, I do what I can. So it's not like I'm not, I'm just sitting here all day doing nothing. I, I'm mostly making buy thanks to like Patreon and commissions and general stuff I'm usually like able to cover most of my bills without having to worry oh my god that zoomed out too much actually the surprising one uh, that has been helping me out a lot has been twitch <laughs> Because I was like, I'm never going to really use it. Nothing's going to happen. And um, it, it's been a surprisingly good thing. Oh, of course. Wong's got me covered on fries. Yeah, I know I'm doing this really weird, but I, I didn't like how thick I made it. Uh, I, I used my 3D poser to like set the pose up and then just like redrew it from there and then I was like, wow, this is fat. <laughs> oh, I forgot to look at a reference of his little guy, I forgot his name. I'm just gonna quickly move this because I'm lazy. Yeah, I mean, I don't plan on uh, just, you know, freeloading off of him entirely, so, because we, uh, we're gonna have, like, house payments and stuff, so, yeah. We have stuff that's gonna make it harder for him. I've also been, uh, submitting more of my books to, like, publishers and stuff, too. Not expecting a bite, but at least I'm, like, doing stuff and getting myself out there. That is one wonky hand. Yeah, I followed you back on Twitter. You can't, you can't stop it. Why did I even draw his fingernails? You can't see. I do that. I follow people on Twitter. There's his weird glove again. Make sure to post exciting things so I can look at it. <laughs> I have been using my Twitter a lot more. I don't know, I, I, I just, because I, I've made some connections on there that are pretty useful. I always warn my students. I do, okay, I take that back. I do have one uh, actual job job I'm able to do during this time. Despite that, I, I, um, I'm i a contract teacher, so it's not like a full-time or anything uh, for a local art gallery. So I, I just do little, like I teach classes here and there. But yeah, it's, it's not solid or stable and it's not a lot of hours, so. Uh, I always forget it's actually work, but like, I love doing it, so. I hear a rod of screaming in the distance.
All right, now I gotta get his tail. He's got the tail. He's got a floofy tail. Floof, floof, more floof. Oh, oh no, is that what he's doing? He's gonna find you again, run away and glare at you. Yeah, so I want him to be standing on something, but like, what should he be standing on? Any anybody thoughts? Oh, what did I do? Is it all lined up mostly? Oh, here I brought it. I, I do hope you enjoy my Patreon. It's a bunch of bullshit. No, not really. He's a mafia boss, by the way. He's like the most pure mafia boss ever. <laughs> mm. I guess in the meantime, I'll go look up his little uh, friend. I don't know what it's called. I should know this. It's something Yama. There you go. Uh... Mascot? Nekoyama! It's Nekoyama. Nekoyama! You think I would have remembered that? Because it's super easy. But no, I didn't. So, so. What was I? <gasps> oh, beat Twitter up. Tell Twitter no. We don't do that here. So his little mascot, Nekoyama, was actually drawn by one of the other uh, Hello Stars member. It's it's pretty cute and ridiculous. I think, like, at some point, like, if you get to too many, uh, um, follow, like, you're following too many people on, uh, Twitter, it will, like, start taking some off. I could just be making shit up, though. Patreon takes a lot of time. Like this month, I was, uh, I'm really cutting it close on things because I had so many commissions. Which is a good thing, but it's also like crap. <laughs> I don't think they have a Twitter unlimited like that. But yeah, like I think it's more, it's like, well, it's kind of like, you know, there's a limit of how many pages you like on Facebook. I think it's just one of those where people just like, you know, they're like, oh no, people are uh, getting... They're just following stuff and they forget what they follow and blah, 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 crap. Isn't that the dream? All of it making bank. Oh my god, this thing is so weird. It's so simple, it's hard to draw. I also don't like those fingers anymore, they're too big. Too big! To be fair, like, I'll find an artist and be like, oh man, I love this art, it's so cool, and then I realize 90% of what they post is, uh, like, hentai art, and I'm like, oh, oh no, follows them anyways. Yeah, 
like I'll find them for some like art that they did that was just so cute and pure and that's like nope that's not their normal thing. I think my Pixiv is wor is worse though. Did I not like make his face round enough maybe? I mean, after after working at a figure store where we have to unbox and double check lewds and stuff and some of the stuff I've seen, I'm just like, eh, I'm so desensitized to it, whatever. <laughs> yeah, like, well, unfortunately, that's that's really where a lot of the money is. My problem is a lot of the stuff I want to see art of is not stuff I want to see looted because it's like... Like, for instance, I've been watching um, ooh, uh, Gundam Bill Diver's Rise, Re-Rise or whatever. And my favorite character, it looks like a 12-year-old boy. I do not want to see him looted, thank you very much. But I would love to see some art of him. He's so cute. I'd like to draw some if I ever have time. But, you know, what is time? I don't know why I care if this face is right. It's my rough sketch. I still have to do my final sketch. <laughs> yeah, this thing is... This is how it looks. This is Nekoyama. Okay, okay. So we have him holding Nekoyama, which is why his hand was out. I mean, I never turned down commissions, which is also a problem because I've gotten some ones that weren't that exciting, I guess. Like, I prefer drawing, like, characters and stuff, or, uh, like, I like to draw, well, I, I'm all over the place. Sometimes I like to draw sexy girls, sometimes I like to draw cute characters, and sometimes I like to draw sexy guys. I do not ever like to draw scenery, but I do it. Ugh, okay, so we gotta figure out what I want him standing on. He gotta be standing on something. Part of the dragon family? What's that? I do like drawing dragons. <laughs> Would it make more sense to have him standing on like a barrel or a box? Oh, cool. How big is the family going to be? Expanding. Oh, well, I mean, it makes sense. Dragons are uh, a lot of them. <laughs> That's pretty cool, though. I'll, you have to show me some of them sometime. Yes. <laughs> As always, Twife is the most helpful. Himbo dad. <laughs> oh, we're noise time. <laughs> we're noise is complete. Hello, an angry young man. You know what? I kind of like the idea of him standing on our cardboard box. I'm gonna go with that. Cause you know, cat. He's not a cat, he's a jackal, but still. Quell fabulous. Uh, 
Is that a Twitch name or a Twitter name? Either way, I want to look at their art. I like art, it makes me happy. Oh, cool. I can't wait until I eventually get a stream team. I don't know. I kind of like that now. I don't know what I want to do for the background. Uh, I might need to shrink some of this. But hey, look, I got the first thing. Well, I kind of also want to be able, whatever I join, I want to have Wong in too, uh, and uh, possibly Kitten. So if, uh, if uh, Akiba Soul, because that's the one we're guessing will make partner first, ever makes partner, will open up a, a, a team. Yeah, I don't want to leave Wong behind. I am good for either drawing guys or girls. So what I recommend is uh, dice rollers or coin flips. Eh? I see. I don't know this. <laughs> I know nothing about teams. I just know they exist. <laughs> I'm so new to all this stuff, guys. Blood battle. I love blood battles. Oh, okay. Okay, so that's how it works. Yeah. See, I don't know this. I'm a little baby when it comes to Twitch. I'm still trying to figure out how to uh, do sound settings for when um, redemptions come in. I know, obviously, I have an alert for when, uh, as I blink, uh, I have an alert for when uh, like somebody follows or subscribes or gives bits or hosts and stuff like that. That I figured out. But I was looking through the stuff and I couldn't figure it out because I'm dumb. <laughs> Rana Faye, are you are, are you a family planner now? Rana Faye, I have a lot of time all the time, so uh yeah, just it would be more when you have time. I do tutor tomorrow after uh well at Actually, I never checked the time. I assume four. Who doesn't have a choice? <laughs> Rana Bay. <laughs> uh, I can guarantee you Rana Faye knows all about weird family situations. Considering uh, Rana Faye was uh, part of the original uh, one I called Daddy, I think. <laughs> Don't worry, Dwayne it's as crazy as usual. Ah, you were mommy. Okay, you were my first mommy. Then, then I had so many, uh, my, my uh, family tree got kind of weird. And then instead, now everyone is waifu. The, uh, what do you call it? The qualifications to reach waifu tier for me are cosplay with me. Hi, Jade. I can't. That was my uh, empty uh, drink. <laughs> I finished it. <laughs> grandma. Oh my gosh, should it be like saggy boobs like a uh, go-go grandma?
Dragons do live all. <laughs> Dragons do live a long time. I thought Go Go Grandma was a great idea. Don't you agree, uh, Ronafe? you need to it's it's an important part of something I'm not sure what but it's definitely an important part of something for those of you guys not familiar with go go grandma it, it is from an omake from uh, the anime blue seed I don't want to tell you too much, but go check it out. It's literally called Go Go Grandma. I know it used to be on YouTube, but yeah, we, we obviously own the DVDs. Not quite, Twaifu, not even the slightest. Omakes were the best part of Blue Seed, to be fair, though. Don't worry, I'm, I swear we were completely normal children. Plant in the ground. Blue seed. Yes, blue seed. Oh man. Uh, Ron, I you can share it in the chat. Okay, I was gonna say yeah, you can just share it in the chat. <laughs> you have the uh, privilege of sharing links in my chat. No, I just try to avoid spam bots, so I, I, I automatically lock links until I know pe who people are. Is it the whole thing in that GIF? Is that a GIF? I can't tell the link cuts off for me. From what I can see on my screen. Oh, it's an MP4. Okay, yeah, that makes more sense. That's why I was like, wait, what? I don't know. You can put videos on Tumblr. I know nothing. Yeah, it, it's a it's a short clip, but it is long enough. It's like five minutes, I think. That's just it. I mean, I've seen some pretty big gifts, but I was like, that seems a little much even for that.
RTD, have you been scarred for life? This is what Rana Faye and I grew up with. <laughs> one of us, one of us. Looks about even. <laughs> I'm pretty sure that's exactly what you were expecting, RTD, don't lie. Ranafe, your work here is done. <laughs> yeah, that that's what uh what uh we grew up with, I guess. <laughs> and so that's that's what I think of when I think of uh All I keep thinking is go go grandma. What are you talking about? We also totally did not have underground fighting rings for children in the neighborhood. Oh, that's apparently normal. Oh, okay. Uh, my my mother did home daycare when we were growing up, so uh, we we interacted with a lot of children. I don't know why we were allowed to. Although, the one I used to always joke that we screwed up the most actually added me on Facebook recently, and he's strangely normal. <laughs> like, I guess my level of normal, but still. Maybe if you didn't call her grandma, I wouldn't keep picturing go-go grandma.
Let's just call her Milf. Gilf? Gandalf. The matriarch. That works. Ron did what uh, exactly what she needed to do. Boing, boing, boing. I think that was the point though. I mean, you're, you're not supposed to, uh, you know, be like, oh man, this is a uh, lovely love story. You're definitely supposed to be creeped out by it. That's your thing. He doesn't want a butt chin. Shion is really awesome. He's a good boy. He's looking up, which is why his chin looks weird. I think it'll look better when I like color it. And if not, I'll make him look down. I thought it would be cool though if he looked like he was like, ha, I'm the boss because he's a mafia boss. I am saying butt chins are not awesome. That's exactly what I'm saying. Even the crimson chin. creator much either especially after all the crap he's been following but that series is still great besides we all know the hero we need is Catman. I do definitely believe it is possible to like something and not like the creator though.
in the past obviously a lot of us it wasn't as easy to find out information about like creators and stuff because uh like the internet didn't exist yeah like with harry potter i i do not like jk rowling at all she is a very mean person but i will always have a special place in my heart for uh harry potter especially uh like serious and Remi uh, the what are they uh the marauders yeah with the advent with the internet and stuff being so uh you know big and open nowadays it's so easy to get information out there so so you can uh find out just how horrible some of these people are It was actually pretty funny because uh, during that time too, when it, especially when it first came out with uh, J.K. Rowling and the uh, the uh, trans stuff, um, the the uh, author of Animorphs was uh, like a really adamant uh, like she she stood up and was talking back to Rowling and stuff like that, and it was like, dude, Animorphs. Although I guess it makes sense in some ways if you think about the premise. I never actually read the Animorphs uh, books as a kid, but yeah. I thought that was good. I'm not dissing your Animorphs. I've never read them. But yeah, the author is a very good person. I like her. So I like her for that, even though I've never read the books. Paris is a pretty good author too. I, she's also not only do I enjoy her book, she's also a good person. And then um, one of my like favorite authors from childhood, Barbara Hamley. I, I follow her on Facebook now, uh, and she is super cool. She goes to like rent fairs and everything, and she's obviously she was writing books when I was a kid, and I was reading them when I was a kid. My uh, mother read them when she was younger, so she's uh, no spring chicken, I guess, but she is still at it. I like her a lot. Ooh, I mean, I love French fries, and including drawing them. French fries. Every Friday is Abby Friday, so you got to eat French fries. Thick thighs, of course. Thick thighs save lives. I don't know if you guys heard that, but uh, right as I said that, a rider walked past me and meowed, so he agrees. Obvious. Well, it depends on how much they eat, but yeah, I was going to say, they're, they're probably just like people where they've got all builds, right? All different types of builds. But if they keep getting thicker as they get older, would that mean she's just like round? Round is a shape too. Just turns back into an egg. <laughs> I like that.
Yeah, we really do. It's our job. So much air. I've gotten so much done on this piece, guys. Oh, wow, you actually won. Good, good. I was like, are we gonna have to F for respects again? I guess not this time. Next time, Gadget. Next time. Yeah, I saw you win last time, too. That's why I was like, there's no way you're winning again, but I'm wrong. I mean, to be fair, there's a 50% uh, chance, and if you do statistics, that means that, you know, every time is a 50% chance. Not horrible odds. I've seen worse. I did just make a random mark over there. Mm, what if I don't have anything to put on the line? Then can I be afraid to put it all on the line? <gasps> oh! Oh my gosh! I'm trying to think who it was. I felt so bad for them. Yeah, they kept losing on the Occupus Soul channel. It wasn't RTD, although RTD's lost a lot too. Um, was it RBY? I know RTD has Wow, you've got good luck today, man. I'm on the wrong layer. <laughs> uh, yeah, probably. Don't they, isn't there a saying like that? Um, it's good to know when to stop or whatever. I don't know how it goes. Can anyone English that into a, a saying for me? Enough. Yeah, you gotta know when to hold them and when to fold them. We'll, we'll go with that. Isn't that from a song? I think I've only heard that song because of uh, Supernatural.
I'd like to say I've never gambled in real life, but I play gotcha games. Which might be worse. Rate up is a lie. actually played Hades. I've heard good things about it, though. <laughs> yeah, Magic the Gathering. I, I don't play it, but I'm familiar with it. I used to play Yu-Gi-Oh! and Pokemon way back in the day. Somebody even lost more than you, RTD, though. I, I don't remember. I think it was RBY, but I could be wrong. But I do know for sure that uh, RTD has also had some losing streaks on some of my Kato okay streams. Or RTD. can get ahead in life. rigged by RTD though because he probably doesn't want to lose his number two spot uh, I have the most uh, uh, of uh, happy meals because I gave myself the most happy meals I'm not going to ever use them but I felt like I wanted to be number one so I am I'm glad I'm not the only one who did that. Yeah, so unlike the french fries where I can't assign them on my own, the Happy Meals I can. Which is why when I first uh, actually brought them in, um, a bunch of people already had points because I manually went and assigned them to some of my regular viewers. I was like, you know what, they've been watching me for a long time. The least I can do is give them some happy meals. And that was before I actually had anything to use the happy meals on. So it was just, here you go, happy meals. I'm not sure what I'm doing with them. Ranafe helped me come up with some ideas for what to use them on. And I actually came up with some of my own. I was pretty proud of myself. I'm not always indecisive, guys. I swear, just most of the time. for checking myself. I mean, I always have time for commission, so you could just hit me up whenever. I literally just cleared my plate off of commission, so. And even if I have some, I usually tend to clear them like within a week, so. 
Remember, I'm unemployed. I have time. <laughs> I mean, yeah, I'll take your money right now. Yeah, if you just let me know what you want, I, that's easy enough. If you have any restrictions. Well, yeah, generally artists want money for their work. I mean, I'm just speaking from experience, but most of us tend to work pretty hard on our art. And if you want a stick figure, I guess I could give you a stick figure. That is always good. I mean, I've had a uh, some, yeah, yeah. I, there's a reason that so many artists nowadays have to like ask for like money up front or at least uh, something up front, like a depositor or something. I, I usually just ask for the full amount because my commissions aren't exactly expensive. And then once somebody becomes like a regular, cause I have a lot of repeats, I, I let them pay after I do the sketch, but not before, I, but before I finish it, so. There's too many people out there being mean. We gotta eat too, you know. Actually, the worst thing about not having cons this year, I'm like, oh my God, all that extra income I used to have. Wow. Nice. Yeah, I'm the same way. Like, when I commission an artist, I like to pay them up front, too. <gasps> Hi, Mama! Meow. Meow. It's most important artists need to be able to feed their cats because we all know all artists have cats. Like it, when you have your description, you can like DM me on Twitter or message me on Discord if you're uh, if you have my Discord info or whatever Facebook page. Uh, I have pretty much any social media contact is fine. Email too. Dun, dun, dun. Yeah, I, I obviously am not on my Discord to check. Well, yeah, so yeah, I'm there. Obviously. Same profile picture I have on my Twitter. The picture's 
should I use in my author bio? I thought it was fun. <laughs> I yeah, I love uh, what uh, you join Discord servers. They have uh, funny things to uh, say about joining. Actually, there was a Discord uh, a server I was trying to be active on, and I decided to pull uh, out from it because I was uh, kind of a little off put. So like, um, if for those of you who are not familiar with Discord, a lot of times the more you interact with a server, the more like levels or rank or points or whatever you gain. Um, so, you know, you like level up and stuff like that. Well, some of them have some restrictions, like you can't do, you know, something until you've like reached like level one or two you know like so they need to make sure that you're not just uh, a bot or whatever that you're gonna put some effort into it which is okay but one of the ones i was in uh had it where like you couldn't post your own art until you were level 20 and you couldn't post commission info until you're level 30. uh for some um what do you call it for for some comparison I guess maybe that's the word in English uh, I just uh, got to level 27 in our discord uh, the other day and I am on there all the time and yes the discord isn't uh, super or it, it's it's still somewhat new or at least you know as far as like my joining and helping with it because it was a uh, kittens discord that I joined with her and then uh, she and instead of making my own she just agreed to let me help out with hers and you know, use it as mine too. So we didn't have two discords. <laughs> Cause Kitten is my older sister. I am in about the same, but yeah, I have most of them muted. I just, I can't keep up. I, I have trouble doing more than one discord period. I try, I try to do what I can, but I'm like, I can't, I, I'm so bad at this. And like I was trying to get active in a writer discord and uh, I ended up putting that one on mute because I had somebody try to mansplain something to me and they were very rude. And I was like, you know what? I just came to make writer friends. If you're going to be a bitch while well, I'm leaving. I mean, I'm still in there, but I technically am not even active in the uh, Pokemon Go discord I set up for my town. <laughs> which is you know okay except for i realize i'm lucky friends with half the people in there now and i'm like oh my god guys we gotta meet up so i can make trades just from our cars wearing masks please please do not kill me i do not want to die I also tried to do some fandom discords like uh one of my my favorite game series is uh star ocean uh my favorite game franchise and i was in uh i'm in a couple star ocean discords one is dead now because it was for the mobile app that doesn't exist anymore or but the other one was just like a general one and i i tried to get in on it and like talk to people but it was so freaking clickish i'm like dude what the hell i thought we were just here to fangirl I'm still friends with some people from it though, so it's not like I'm like anti the people in it. It just was like I, I couldn't do what I wanted to with it, so I'm a very non confrontational con confrontational person unless it's in my own uh corner. So for instance, uh, I'm sure people who are friends with me on Facebook have seen me tear into people about uh anti vaxxing and anti mask. Uh policies because that is my personal space so I'm going to be mean but in other people's I'm less likely to do stuff like that and on discord I am most likely to hide I don't even know what I was doing there there's some random marks whatever
I do think it's uh, great that, um, like, I feel like Discord is like the, I guess, like the next Facebook group type thing, but I think it's a little easier to maneuver through it because you can sort things better. There's like different channels. Plus you have, you know, the option of voice channels and things like that, which are cool. Actually, for the game that um, I'm doing on Thursday nights, because I'm the DM right now, so I uh, I have music and stuff picked out for it. So I, uh, I I stream music to them now too. I'm trying to make it more interesting. My first time DMing, so I'm like taking ideas from all over the place, having fun with it though. We had lost the, our tank character, so I've been uh, talking. I had a friend um, who was interested, so I've been kind of talking to her about uh, what we need to do to get her in there, and she's looking over the material, so we'll see what she says. aren't redrawing the same line a gazillion times are you even living because it's a good time to stream if we're all in the same time zone I don't always stay on this late but my only day of scheduled streams is Tuesday starting at 6 p.m. my time I really can't. I was trying to avoid uh, kittens and Rons as much as I could, but unfortunately I ran into Rons. But yeah, I can't do Monday because I teach. Hi! Yeah, I'll talk to you. I'll message you on uh, Discord after the Strollable. Thanks for asking though. Okay, now I get to draw the zipper and have it look like a real zipper. I was say for the, yeah, if you'll notice though, um, aside for this art stream, most of my streams are really late at night because I don't interfere with anyone. Plus I can, uh, that's when I play games mostly is late at night. And even like uh, my Japanese, uh, let's learn Japanese stream. Um, I, I talked with Rana Faye to make sure I put it after her Saturday stream. So, a lot, well, for one thing, we have a lot of the same people who would attend and second off, I just wanted to make sure I avoided it. So that's like one of the only streams, another stream, like I do that one super early. Well, it's not super early, but like afternoon, which is weird for me. I'm not used to doing like early streams. I thought about scheduling more days a week to do other streams too, but I'm just, eh, I'm so lazy. The one, uh, one week of art stream is the only thing that is scheduled every week. <laughs> and then uh, once a month I have the karaoke and now the Japanese thing. So those two are scheduled. The karaoke is once again, usually later at night. Actually with, uh, Ronafe, we started it earlier than I normally do because I usually start it two hours after. And I know um, for August's one, which is on the 21st, um, I will definitely be starting at uh, later than 6 p.m. my time because of the fact that I'll be part of a relay again. And I'm the end part of the relay, so I'll probably be starting at 8 p.m. 
possibly 7 p.m. if they don't have enough people, which has happened before. We usually have uh, three to four groups doing it, but I think last time we only had two, so. Yeah, it was funny because I had made a poll on it because uh, I usually ask the dates on uh, Twitter and then like uh, Fire messaged me and was like, hey, we're going to be doing karaoke uh, as a relay this day. You want to join? And I was like, well, I guess I know what day I'm going to do karaoke. <laughs> I can't decide things on my own, man. are actually coming out pretty good. I feel like the more time you try to spend drawing a circle, the less it looks like a circle. I'll go ahead and do his fuzz over on this side now. Fizzy, fizzy. all those lines anyways, but for now, they're there. I guess I should put some more down here. now. <laughs> Sometimes she loves you. Sometimes she wants to make you lose it. She waits till you win a bunch and then she makes you lose it all. Is what I'm understanding. Time for Vegas. Vegas smells funny. I drove through it once. Alright, RTD, you gonna try your luck? You guys don't have to gamble at all, you know. You have a lot of happy meals. Dang. He likes to live dangerously. Dangerous man, a dangerous raccoon dog. Oh, 
I do not like to live dangerously, so I am definitely the type to not ever gamble large amounts of my uh, points on Twitch away. Wong disappeared and has not returned. He might be dead. Actually, I'm guessing he fell asleep. <laughs> I thought he was going upstairs to take a shower, but I have not heard the water run. Tired easy because he well which is weird because he gets more sleep than I do okay so yay this is this is all I got done so far but I'm I'm gonna call it here so I can go eat dinner but yeah yeah I'm sure he does although he sleeps better than me so I'm jealous yeah uh, this is a uh, start of Xi'an oh 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 that's right you can give points can't you Okay, where, where's my next time button? Okay, there you go. All right, so um, I think I'll be streaming with Wong tonight. I have no idea what we're doing, though. So <laughs> I might be on his channel. I might be on my channel. We'll see. I know uh, tomorrow night, uh, Wong and I will be playing some Phasmophobia with uh, Kel and... Twaifu, so I will probably be streaming that as well, as will he, and he's going to set up his heart rate so you guys can watch him scream. But yeah, other than that, um, I will see you guys later. Go eat food. Thank you for watching. And yes, that's my full design of my normal outfit when I'm not in idle clothes. <laughs>